The creepy Cuomo fallout keeps getting worse for New York's disgraced governor. He could now face criminal charges. Multiple DAs in the state are launching investigations into Cuomo's actions, who's accused of sexually harassing 11 women. Cuomo's defiant as ever, despite mounting pressure from Democrats to step aside. I think he should resign. I am sure there are some embraces that were totally innocent. But ap apparently the attorney general decided there were things that weren't. I continue to believe the governor should resign. He absolutely should resign. The fact that there are 11 women coming forward um, is deeply, deeply disturbing. I do believe he should resign. And what about Q-tip loving Chris Cuomo? The CNN anchor completely ignored the massive scandal last night on his show. That's after the New York AG said Chris got, quote, confidential state intel and helped write a response to one of his brother's accusers. Greg, yesterday you brought up Ralph Northam. Mm -hmm. As everybody knows, had the blackface scandal. And right. everybody called on him to resign, even Democrats. And he didn't do it. And now he's still sitting in the governor's office. Well, I I think this is I think this is different because he's got the hard left after him. And he's he's like King Kong right now in the build, uh, at the top of the building, swatting at the planes, mm -hmm. still clutching a woman. Uh, <laughs> he's, he's, I, I don't think he's going to last. Uh, but I go back to what Geraldo said. I mean, who replaces him? Um, the people. I mean, we might be going from the outer circle of hell to the inner circle of hell if we get Letitia James or, or if De Blasio. I mean, imagine these are people that have no compassion about victims of crime. So we have to. Want I, mean, him I don't know. To hold on. They, I don't. I, no, I want. I, no, he's got to go. I mean, eleven women, and, and, and I mean this. I mean, we, we should just sit back and let the process take care of it. It's, I'm yeah. just Chris Cuomo's just really lucky that he he doesn't have to ever cover big, ugly stories, right? He could play with the Q-tip, but he can't talk about the nursing homes, you know. Uh, he can talk about his, how his bro is single and ready to mingle, but he can't talk about his brother's crimes with women. It's, it's like, oddly convenient. I would say that CNN could have... They should have him on as a guest. CNN should have Chris Cuomo on as a guest. Therefore, he doesn't run the segment, and they could ask him questions. I should create a conflict of interest with regards to January 6th. <laughs> so I just never have to talk about it. I'm sorry, I have a conflict, can't talk about it. Um, Dana Perino, from a public relations Mission standpoint, standpoint mm. please give Chris, not Chris, please give Governor Cuomo a grade on how he's done thus far. I would say F if it was for integrity, but you gotta say, like, he's just basically gonna hold on. And it's gonna be Godzilla, Gorilla? King Godzilla. Kong. King Kong. <laughs> <laughs> Godzilla, the other one. Oh, yeah. King Kong. Um, you know, there's a, there's a possibility that they just drag, he drags this thing out as long as he can. He doesn't care that he doesn't have a friend in the world. He doesn't care that it's obvious. Like, one of the things he did I think is so egregious is changing the rules so that that state trooper that he had his eyes on would then be added to his detail. And then he harassed her in front of everybody. And her boss did nothing about it well, I while he was that. doing it. That's like, I think that's one of the most egregious things. She's one of the 11. And she didn't want to come forward. But she did because she thought it would be the right thing to do. So everyone else is doing the right thing, and he's doing the wrong thing. So he doesn't care if he doesn't have a friend in the world. The other thing that's different with Northam is that Governor Northam apologized. Right. And then powered through. This guy is just a complete jerk. And I don't think it's a great idea to keep showing, like, you know, we keep showing, like, the video he put out of how <laughs> he just kisses everybody and everything's fine. It's, like, no big deal. I'm like, no. Like, there it is. Like, yeah, I, I, I don't think that that's the right thing to do. Although, you know, maybe from a PR <laughs> perspective, maybe it was smart. Is that they put Emanuel? out this video and they, then we just keep playing it. He always looks like he's trying to suck a pimple. <laughs> That's disgusting, <laughs> pimple doctor. Oh, all right, uh, yeah. Geraldo, Bruce. if this moves forward with impeachment, how long is a process like that going to well, last? Impeachment is his big peril, but I have to say, Andrew Cuomo is no Harvey Weinstein. When you look at these charges, look yep. at them. Look at them fairly. That's a low you, The user wow. is disgusting and disgraceful, and uh, you know what makes me puke. And this guy is a, you know, uh, he didn't rape anybody. I mean, I, I just want to say that. That it is interesting to me that everyone has seized on these sexual assaults and nobody mentions the nursing home. Nobody mentions these hundreds and hundreds of people who died arguably because of executive decisions made in Albany. Nobody talks about it. They have a press conference. Hey, we lost 15,000 people. They get two reporters show up. 
uh, sexual assault. They got 300 d d jumping all over each other. They ask, uh, oh, did he put his hand on her elbow? Uh, did he, uh, you know, smooth his, his mustache? Well, he doesn't have a mustache, but... <laughs> Katie, I, I just think that Katie, it is, it's it so is a good point that this scandal is more devastating politically than the other scandal where people died as a result. And he hid data to cover it up. Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah, it's and, and with that, there was kind of this people being engaged together. So the New Jersey governor made some of the same decisions. The Democratic governor in uh, Michigan made some of the same decisions. So they all kind of wanted some immunity from the Justice Department, which I Apparently, they were happy to give them. But on the resignation of Andrew, or of, uh, Andrew Cuomo, I don't know if he'll resign. I don't think he will. I think he's going to stay. And this is all on Democrats to hold him accountable. Yeah, They're in charge. And if they really want to put their money where their mouth is when it comes to Me Too and women's rights and sexual harassment in the workplace, they would impeach him. Now, the White House, President Biden said yesterday that he should resign. But when they were pressed again today about whether he should be impeached because he's looking like he's not going to resign, they won't go as far as saying that Demo Democrats should act to impeach him. And then an interesting and ironic and awful terrible thing based on the nursing home issue today is Jen Psaki was asked if he should still be in a leadership position on these COVID calls for all of the Democratic governors every week with the White House. And she said that she doesn't want to hurt the people of New York by removing Andrew Cuomo from a position of leadership to run the COVID response, mm. but not just resign. for New York, but for the other states, as if he hasn't done all this damage, including right. putting thousands of That's a great point. people back into the nursing homes. And so they're kind of using that as a shield uh, rather than taking responsibility mm. for it. And it's one thing to say he should resign, but it's another to call for action if he refuses. Jen's had a tough week. I'll say it. Dana won't say it, but I'll say it. You've had a <laughs> tough week, Jen. Next, Democrats. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.